All right, back to school is the theme this morning as well as Operation Safe Return. So we have Dr. Greg Silverman in for the doctors in for a few tips before kids head back to the classroom. Good morning to you. Happy Monday. We were coming up with some ideas on yeah, this about how to keep kids safe and mm -hmm. the answer is teach them how to swim. There's a, there's a, a myriad of things that you can do. Teach them how to swim is one. Uh, know what their allergies are. Write them down. Have an allergy list. Before they get back to school, make sure that they have all their shots uh, and that all the immunizations are done and that you have a list of their immunization records. Mm -hmm. Things you can do at the house include put your medicines in a locked cabinet. Make sure that any of the medicines or, or any pills or anything else are not available to young kids because remember, young kids are uh, get into a lot of things or are, are interested in a lot of things and they can open bottles and those kind of things. So be careful with that. Um, there's lots of things that you can do to get ready. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot of time. Certainly doesn't take any money. Um, and get them going on these. I always say, I mean, a personal hygiene at home carries mm -hmm. to the workplace or to school. So really teaching your kids to cough into their their elbow and to right. sneeze. They wash, they close, wash, you their, know, wash hands, their hands right. immediately. Correct. Um, so that they can stop the spread of germs. Correct. I mean, that's the that's the biggest thing. Is is the one of the biggest reasons why people get sick is they they are around around other people who are sick and they touch things that are sick. Remember, mm -hmm. kids. Kids get sick, they do, mm -hmm. but teach them how to wash their hands. Teach them how to, after after school, certainly before school, make that a habit at your own house. Definitely. It's, and when you go outside, when you go out to any of the other places, HEBs or Walmarts, and you touch those carts, make sure that you wash those carts down so that your kids will see that and understand, look, this is important for my parents, this is important for, for my caregivers, I should be doing this as well. Now let's talk about um, other good practices. Sleep schedule. You know, summertime, kids are up all times Correct. of the day, uh, and so to get back onto a regular routine, how important is that? Well, it's very important, and it takes a couple of weeks before kids get into whatever sleep cycle it is that they want, that you want them in. And remember, kids have to go. It is kids want to have some sort of a schedule where they where they do whatever it is they do during the day, and then at night there's a set bedtime schedule. You either read to them or get them to, to do start calming down, turn the TV off, um, start start getting ready for bed yeah. and then put them in bed at a regular schedule. You got it. They want that. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. Dr. Silverman, thanks for uh, getting the conversation well, going good. and hopefully you can continue the conversation at home, maybe with your spouse as you're getting the kids on a, on a set plan and schedule and get some of those ideas going uh, for your family. Correct. Appreciate it. Bye. All right, a look at the forecast.